Hello everyone, Kaifa here um, with my first video um, in my introductory to Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're just going to walk through Photoshop and look at some of its different tools and um, some of the things Photoshop offers which make it so amazing. We're not going to dive too deep into any tools or um, techniques or anything like that today. This is just more of an introduction for beginners who really haven't seen Photoshop a whole lot or aren't comfortable with all of its features. Um, right off the bat, Photoshop does look a little overwhelming. It has a lot of cool features, a lot of panels, a lot of buttons, um, but don't be overwhelmed. Um, with time, you'll become very comfortable with Photoshop and you'll see how amazing it is. So we're just going to walk through um, some of its tools and just just navigating around Photoshop to begin with so on the left side you have all your tools you can select from so right now I have the paintbrush tool selected um, which lets you as it says paint custom strokes so I can draw a smiley face for example um, or a star or something um, it's nothing too crazy um, there are different brushes you can choose from as seen here or different settings for the brush, like making it bigger. Um, but I'm not going to dive too deep into any tool today, as I said. Um, other than the paintbrush tool, you can right click on it and it'll pull up different tools such as the pencil tool, color replacement tool, or mixer tool, mix brush, mixer brush tool, excuse me, um, which are all useful for different things. But we're not going to dive too deep into those today. Um, and then another useful tip for beginners starting with Photoshop is to use Control Z or Command Z on the MacBook to undo a mistake. So if I want to get rid of things that I didn't mean to draw or didn't mean to change, I can just do that Command Z and it'll go away in order of um, the most recent change you made. So going back to this left side bar and all the tools you can see you can hover over the tools and it'll give you a little description of them so at the top we can see the move tool which allows us to move a selection or layer um, there's also an artboard artboard tool if you click into that there's the elliptical marquee tool um, there's the rectangular marquee tool single row marquee tool and just the different marquee tools um, we're not going to dive too deep into those today there's the lasso tool, which lets you make freehand selections, so we'll talk about that more later. There's the object, object selection tool, which I find very useful and very convenient. Um, I'm going to make a separate tutorial video just on the selection tools available here, the quick selection and object selection, because I find myself using them quite often, um, so stay tuned for that. There's the crop tool, which lets you crop your image, uh, making it smaller or, I mean, smaller, cropping it. It's a pretty generic um, technique when it comes to photos. There is the frame tool, which creates a placeholder frames for images. Um, it gives you a little example right here if you hover over it. There's the eyedropper tool, which lets you take a color from a part of a picture, which I find very useful if you're trying to match the color of something. Um, so to give you an example of how that would work, we can draw, let's say, a, an aqua circle right here. And if we use this tool, it'll get that um, color and then throw it right in here to our color picker. Um, so which I, I find that really cool. Um, as you can see, we have a dark gray black on our color picker if we use this eyedropper tool it suddenly becomes the aqua color and we can continue to draw with that aqua color which I find awesome. Um, going down we see the clone clone stamp tool um, as well as pattern stamp tool we're not going to talk too much about those today. There's the history brush tool which restores parts of an image to an earlier state um, as you can see from this example. Here we have the eraser tool, which is important for erasing mistakes. It's pretty self-explanatory. So here I'm going to erase these um, little drawings I made, I guess. <laughs> um, there's also a 
background eraser tool and magic eraser. Um, we'll have a more detailed video on those later. Here we can find the gradient tool, which lets you create um, gradient effects. So just a little example here. It fades from the first color in the color picker to the second color, as seen in the bottom left. So it's going from that aqua to a white, creating a gradient effect, which I find pretty cool. Um, there's also the paint bucket tool in here, which I use a lot, which lets you fill an area um, in a picture or a design with a certain color. So right now we have the aqua selected, so if we use this paint paint bucket tool, it'll fill the whole background with that color. Um, here we have the smudge tool, which softens or smudges colors in an image, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a dodge tool, um, as well as burn tool and sponge tool, we're not going to talk too much about those today. There's a pen tool down here, um, which makes anchor points, so you can create like curves that are smooth, um, we'll have a separate video on that, and these are all basically tools that create curves and different smooth um, drawings. Here we have the text tool which lets you add text to an image um, or design. And we have the path selection tool which lets you select certain parts or layers or objects in your picture. Um, and then down here we have a line tool. If we right click we can see there's a rectangle tool, ellipse tool, and so forth which lets us draw um, shapes that are not free-handed, they're more, um, they're just smooth and they look more professional. Here's the hand tool which lets you drag around an image. Um, we can't right now because there's nothing to drag around, but it's also it's a fun thing to play with. And here is the zoom tool which lets you zoom in and out of a um, <clears throat> certain image or design. So if we do the plus in the top left, it'll zoom in, and the minus, if we click, it'll zoom out. So as you can see from that, we can also just push fit screen, and it'll zoom all the way in, or fill screen, which will um, zoom to that liking. And then down here, as I touched upon a little bit before, is the color picker. So you can um, drag around, get colors you want, you can add the hexadecimal, the RGB values, and then if you find a color you like and you want to save it, you can add it to the swatch um, and with a name and it'll be over here in your custom swatch to use later. Um, and then this bottom color is used in gradients as we touched upon and just uh, different things which we'll cover more later. Um, but if you want to swap these two colors, you just push these little arrows right here, right above the color picker and it swaps the two. Um, which is really useful depending on what you're doing. Um, there are also things called layers in Photoshop, so right now we only have one layer which is the background. So if you want to add a new layer you can come up top to the layers, new, and layer. So we can just name it layer one, that's fine. And on that layer we can, let's say, draw our smiley face. So that will be on a layer above the background, as we can see the background is blocked, so if we try to draw, um, well actually it works, but uh, usually when you lock the background you don't want to edit it anymore, so we'll talk about locking layers, merging layers, and, and so forth in later videos. Um, we're just getting the ideas out there, um, if you don't understand any of these concepts or tools or anything that's totally okay. Um, We'll cover them in more details later. There are various um, paths we can take, things we can add, windows we can pull up. Um, we're not going to dive too deep in that right now, but just for starters, um, I think we've covered a lot of good details. Um, stay tuned for future videos diving deeper into these tools, um, as well as tutorials and awesome things you can make in Photoshop. Please. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep producing content for you guys. Thank you so much.